Greetings, I am Herbert Erbaderb, and today I'm going to have a quick look at the Flames of War British Armoured Battle Group. This video is just going to be a brief overview of what you get in this fairly large box. If you want to see build videos, there will be a link in the description for each unit. As we can see here on the back, those units are 5 Cromwells, 2 Sherman Fireflies, 2 M10 Tank Destroyers, 1 Universal Carrier, and four 25 pounders with an observer rifle team. There's also images of the other stuff that's included in the box, so let's have a look at that stuff. There's this Armies of Late War Start Here guide. This is not the Armies of Late War book, it's more of a getting started guide, as you might guess owing to how it says getting started on the side there. This gives a little bit of information on all the vehicles in this box set. There's also images of the unit cards. And there are instructions in the form of exploded diagrams, which is nice. Instructions usually aren't included. Of course, you can find instructions for these models on the Flames of War site too. There's some basic getting started info and a what's next page. This is probably not useful information for experienced players, but it might be quite helpful for new players. If you want the Armies of Late War book, you need to buy that separately. You do get a book in this box though, the mini rule book. Presumably exactly the same as the full sized book, only smaller, which suits me fine. This is nicely printed with lots of picture and colour. It looks quite good and as you might expect, it contains all the rules and information you'll need to play Flames of War. It might be a good idea to have this booklet ring bound. It makes it much easier to have sitting open on the table and such. I haven't done this yet, but I will before I play. I did a video about having your mini rulebooks ring bound a while ago. There's a link in the description and a card in the upper right corner of the screen now. There's also three identical sheets of decals. There are plenty of decals to ensure every vehicle can have some markings, but I will admit that I'm a little bit disappointed. I would have liked more variety in the markings. Maybe some different divisions and some squadron markings? That'd be good. It's not too hard to find those decals, but it would be nice if they were included. These unit cards are also included. I really like the idea of unit cards, mostly because I'm horribly forgetful and this kind of thing makes games easier. No need to go to the rule book or an army book for the important bits of information on your vehicles. Very cool. You can also get these separately, which I've done just so I can have cards that cover all the models I already have. Would you be surprised to learn that this box set also includes a whole load of sprues? No? Nor was I. While I'm not going to be building these in this video, I might as well give you a quick look at the sprues. First, the 25 pounder, of which there are four in this box. The sprue is kind of small, but packs plenty of detail and all of the parts you will need to build your guns. There seems to be a few options for different guns, which is always nice, and I also like that there are some individual rounds included. I would kind of like for there to be more of those, but with four sprues you at least get four of each round, which is better than one. Also there are five bases. The small one is for the observer team, which I'm going to include as part of the 25 pounder unit, rather than doing a video of it all by itself. There is also a baggie of crew figures included with the gun, otherwise who is going to load and fire it? These are, as you can see, metal figures, and to be honest I'm a little bit disappointed. I was expecting them to be plastic. If you're familiar with me and my channel, you might know that I'm not the biggest fan of metal models. It's not really a big deal though, I'm sure they'll look fine in the end. Next up we have the Cromwells, and you get five of these. These Cromwells are one of the main reasons I bought this box. The detailing on this is pretty good, which is what I expect from Flames of War plastic models. The moulding, as with the 25 pounders, is very neat and crisp and as best as I can tell is free from errors. There are mould lines of course, but they're very minor. These will probably go together very easily and I'm certain they'll look great when they're built. You can build these as either the regular Cromwell with the 75mm gun or the 95mm close support Cromwell. It's good to have options. There are two of these M10 tank destroyers. This sprue can also make an M36 Jackson if you're so inclined. I had already built this kit before buying the box and I can say that it goes together very well and makes a very nice model. At risk of sounding repetitious, the details are quite good, the moulding is neat and the mould lines are very minor. 
The sprue is a different colour than when I first built it, but I am expecting this to be identical to the standalone box I built, so there won't be a new video about these, but you can of course watch the old one. A pair of Sherman Fireflies are in the box too. As before, the sprues are neat and look very good. I am of course going to build these as Fireflies. I've got enough regular Shermans, but you can build this sprue up as the plain old Sherman if you want. You can't build both turrets though, which always disappoints me. There's only one turret bottom. Oh well. Fireflies and regular Shermans have different hull fronts too, so it's not really such a big deal. This should build up into some very nice looking tanks and I'm kind of excited to build them. I do like me some Fireflies. These crew figures aren't just for the Fireflies. You can use them on any of the tanks in this box, or you can omit them, as I will almost certainly be doing. The figures do look good, I'm just not a fan of having a crew on my tanks. Humans are gross. The final model in this box is the teeny tiny Universal Carrier. There's only one of these in the box, which makes sense. There's really only one group of infantry in the Observation Squad. I would like more of these to carry some infantry around, so I guess I'll have to pick up a box of them. As with the previous sprues, this one is very neat, crisp and error free. There's a handful of options for this model, which I like. You can have a flamethrower version, or you can equip a boy's anti-tank rifle, or Bren guns. I really like it, and I think this is going to be a really quick and fun build, so I might do it first. There's also this set of crew and passenger figures. I'm not sure if I'll include these on the final build. They don't quite look as nice as the vehicle itself. The details on their faces are a little bit soft. They seem to be made of the flexible plastic that Battlefront uses now, but they're a little bit more stiff than I would have expected that to be. We'll have a closer look at those in the video for the Universal Carrier. So that's what you get in the Flames of War British Armoured Battle Group box. I think this is a great box to pick up if you want a late war British tank force. Obviously there's no infantry. You'll have to add that yourself if you want it. I personally prefer tanks, but I hear infantry is kind of important. I'm not really sure what the points value for this force is. I didn't see anything like that on the box. I'm sure it differs how you equip your tanks and such anyway. I really like this box set. I'm going to make an effort to get the build videos for everything in it done fairly soon. If you're watching this video in the future, then hopefully they're all there and you'll be able to find the links for each of them in the description. So what do you think of this box set? Have you built it yourself? Considering purchasing it? I'd love to hear any questions or comments you might have in the comments section below, or on Discord. And also do all the other things like subscribing here on YouTube, following me on social media, and watching me live stream on Twitch. And if you really like the things I do, please consider helping to support the channel over at Patreon. That would be rad. Links to all of those things are in the description below. As always, I shall return soon, so until then, be excellent to each other and thanks for watching. Farewell.